はい、皆さん、今日の話のテーマは、もう、引きとありますね。The written word. 文字のこととか、書かれた言葉とか、その文字の歴史のこともちょっと話したいと思います。We're going to talk about the written word and about the letters or characters we use to write and about the history of that. So, maybe you have heard of some of these old languages and stuff. もう昔の言葉のこと、言語の書き方とか、聞いたことがあるかもしれません。Maybe you've heard of like a Egyptian cuneiform. エジプトの小形文字とか聞いたことがあるかもしれません。さあ、このような歴史のことをちょっと分かち合いたいと思います。I want to share a little bit about this. 私はもう全然専門家ではないですので、ちょっと調べてみて、もう興味深いところを選んで分かち合うのです。I'm not at all an expert in this stuff or a, a person who's focused on this study. I just find some things that I think are interesting to share and that might be helpful for us. So, you know, in our society here in Japan or in the societies around the world, the written word is so important. あ、文字があって言葉が書かれていますね。もうあそこは Abide Osaka がありますね。There's Abide Osaka, you know, and we look out the window and there's signs by the road. もう道端にある看板も窓を見たら外にありますし、もう携帯を出して読んだりすることもありますね。We pull out our phone and there's stuff we're reading on it, you know, and all of these things. And everywhere we go, we're reading. どこにいても何かを読んでいるでしょう、私たちは。And, you know, when I came to Japan, I love to read. 私は読むことが大好きです。小説とか歴史の本でも何でも読むことが大好きです。新聞でも。Love to read things, whether it's a novel or a history book or the newspaper, I love to read.23 年前に来日して、何も読めないことになったんですね。周りを見て、看板の意味も、もう何も読めないし、もう本屋さんに入って、私が読める本は全然ないし、一冊もないところとか。If you came to Japan 23 years ago, looking around, you know, I can't read the signs, you know, and I can't read anything. I go in a bookstore. There's nothing in the entire bookstore that I can read. もう文字ができない、わからない人になりました。As a person who couldn't read anything, I just didn't, you know, and 困ったことですね。<laughs> I was distressed by this because I love to read. いやもう本を読んだりするのが大好きですから困りました。Uh, but little by little, I've learned to read some things, but I still struggle with some kanji. もう少しずついろいろ読めるようになりましても、まだまだわからない感じが多いですけれども、頑張っていますね。But I'm trying. So please pray for my Japanese study still. まだまだ私の日本語の学びのためにお祈りください。Hmm. But,、uh, you know, around the world we have this stuff. When did we first start to write? When did people first start to write? 人間の歴史でいつから言葉を書くようになりました。文字を書くようになりました。What do you think? How long ago do you think we began to write? もう何年ぐらい前に書けるようになったでしょう。人間の世界。どう思いますか何かやってる方いらっしゃいますか ?Anybody want to guess how long ago? Nobody wants to guess? Be, be brave. Go send in my. So, do you think 5,000 years ago? We got a guess? まあ、ほぼ正しいでしょう。大体、近い。So, これは私たちが、まあ、はっきりとわかりませんね。例えば、あるところで、ある人々はその世界の中、もう、あ樹皮、木の皮に書くことになって、何か字が開発して、もう小説でも,もうその木の皮を樹皮に書かれてそれはもう長持ちのものではないですから現代は全然わからないですねそれはもういつからはっきりとわかりませんでも効果学者
はいつも探していますから、We don't really know when writing began, but we know from what the archaeologists have been out there searching. 長持ちのものはもちろん、石に字を刻むこととか、また粘土に字を入れることも長持ちになりますね。And the things that really last a long time, of course, if they carved it into stone or if they put it on clay tablets, then it can last a long time. So, so they are mitra mo hobo go sin go yakun in gerai mai karna mono ga arimas ne. Maybe about 5,500 years ago is the oldest things that we find. And、uh, where? Doko de shoka? Shumeru to yutokro, Mesopotamia, Kodai no Mesopotamia no. Shumeru to you, Kuni no Tokoro ですね。In the country of Sumer, in ancient Mesopotamia, they had this writing, and you can see where it is on the map. Chizo mitra, daitai wakaru to moimas no basho. Gendai nara, Iraq to Iran no ho ですね。Sono Chigiris gawa to Euphrates gawa no Tokoro ですね。Where we have the Tigris rivers and the Euphrates rivers and modern Iraq and Iran. Now, this is what they found. Mo Sagashi datsumono wa kore ga arimas ne. Kore wa Kishu no machi ni mitsukata tabletto. Kono tabletto wa sekai seki desu ne. Sore wa limestone tablets in the city of Kish.、Uh, and you can see where it is right there、uh, by the Tigris River, Chigurus Gawa no Sugusoba desu ne. And they found these in other cities too. Hoka no machi de mo, kono onaji yo na sekai seki no moji ga kakare te iru mono mo haikutsu shita koto ga arimas. So, this kind of writing, if you kind of look at it, you know, you can see that it's kind of like little pictures. Moji. Chisa e mi tai desu ne, e moji desu. Kore wa. Emoji jinai, e moji. Not emoto kans. <laughs> little pictures. <laughs> so,、uh, this kind of writing, you could not write like a novel or something. Shosetsu toka wa dekinai. Shimbu no kiji gurai mo dekinai kono yo no ji de. With this kind of writing, you couldn't write a newspaper article, a novel, or anything that complicated. But what you could do is you could keep records of business and、uh, harvest and these things. De mo dekiru koto wa. もう売買の記録、収穫の量の記録とかいろいろできましてね。それでその当時のもう国の指導者はもう専門家を呼んで、あ、今年の収穫はもうどのぐらいありましたか。その人たちは、下の人たちは出して、あ、これとこれを合わせて、このぐらいでしたよ。You know, and the, maybe the ruler he'd call the people out and he'd say, Okay, how much grain did we harvest this year? And they would check their little tablets here and they would add it up and they'd say, Oh, we have this much grain. And then he would say, How much did we need last year? So, say, Kyonen, so no kokumotsu no ryo, dono gurai ga hitsio deshita ka kuni no tame ni, so no kiroko dashite, kore gurai deshita yo, to itte, ah. 今年はもう残りがあります。必要より多いですから、それを売りに出しましょうとか、そのようなことができるんですね。このような文字で。And the king would call people, you know, and he'd say, okay, what did we eat last year in the records for the country? And he'd say, okay, this is the harvest. Oh, we have more than we need, so we can put some of this out for sale to someone else and、uh, make some money. お金儲けね。So, they had these kind of things. And if you look, this area in this time frame,、uh, well, this area is、uh, just to the north of Ur, which was the home of Abraham. Now, this is way before Abraham's time, but this later will become the home of Abraham. Kono chiki wa mo Abraham no seishu ni soseki juni sho kara deru tojo suru Abraham. Uh, no, Kokyo, no, Chiki to Onaji Gurai, this name, so no Minami, so no Uru ga arimas, ne. You know, Abraham's hometown, we read about Abraham in the Bible starting around Genesis 12, you know. So, when we think of Ur and Abraham,、uh, about 1500 years after this kind of writing, 
their writing has developed a lot and they had a pretty developed society in her. So Aburuham no Jidai wa mo kono ji ga dekta sen go yakunin gurai ato no mono de aru kara mo Aburuham no Jidai ni naru kanari a hatten sarita shikai ga arimashite ne mo mochiran mo ji ga dekiru nagai buncho de mo dekiru jidai ni arimashita. Jitsu wa kono uru kara no mono mo hakutsu sarimashite ne. They actually excavated this there in Ur. This is called the uh, Code of Ur Namu. It's in the Sumerian language, and it's a law code. Kura Ur Namu Hoten to Iwarite Masne. Shumer Gode, Sono Kuni no Horitsu ga Kakarite Masne. Very interesting. Kyomi Bukai des. So, Ste Kari wa Mo Kigenzen Nisen Yakunen Goro no Mono de Aru no de. Abraham got married to Tokini, so no kuni no hori tsuwa. Kore datta de shou. So when Abraham was born in Ur, since this is about 2,100 years old, this was probably the very law that Abraham lived under when he was in Ur. That was probably the rules. And actually, you find when you look at this that well, there are many differences, but actually, there's a lot that is common with the law we have in the Bible in Exodus and things. You know, there's a lot of uh, common points between these, enough that you can say, wow, there's some influence there, this society's influence and God's influence, you know, working together. So, jitsu wa kono urnamu hotin o mo kinshu suriba, sono shutsu ejepto ni kekarete rippo to niti iru tokoro kanari oi desu. Mochi no oki no chigai mo arimasu, mo kono shikai to kamisama no eikyo to ka, Nanika kyotsu shite kyoroku no koto mo arimasu. Eikyo ga arimasu te ne. Kami sama wa sono ur ni eikyo sarete ka na. So maybe God is influencing the people of Ur even then, before Abraham's time. And this is well developed writing. Kore wa kanari hatten sarete moji de ate mo shosetsu shinbun no kiji de mo dekiru kaki kata desu ne. By this time, uh, the writing is developed enough. You could, you could write a novel or a newspaper article or something. You've got all the vocabulary and things you need to do it there. And the writing continues to develop in that part of the world. So no mochi ho de, so no moji to so no hiki wa mo tsuzuite mo hatin shite ikimasu ne continues to develop, and here we have something, this is only uh, from about 500 PZ. Kigenzen gohyaku nen goro no mono desu kere demo. Kore wa shumeru no kusabi gata moji to iwarete imasu ne. So this is what they call uh, Sumerian cuneiform. And this is a, a stone, ishi no mono desu ne. And this king, Kusexis wa kono hibun o tsukutte Kori wa, ah, watashi wa kami no sadame de oni natte mina shitagao koto shika nai desu ne. Shitagao wa nai to abunai to ka chiwi no kotoba desu ne. So this king Xerxes here, he put this up along the road actually at a place where there's a crossroads. And it's a warning. He says, I am the chosen king, chosen by God. So you must obey me or you're in big trouble basically, right? So kori wa mo michi. No kosete no tokoro de kare kori wa tatirare te watashi ni shitigao koto shika nai, shitigai nesai. So meidei no kotoba ga oi desu ne, sono rikishi to ka. So we can see this continued development of writing in the Middle East. Chuto de kono yona hiki no hatten wa tsuzuite ikimasu ne. And what about other places? Hoku no tokoro wa dou desho ka. Maybe writing in Egypt is uh, famous, perhaps. Uh, they had writing not quite as early as Sumer, but quite old. Egypt mo mukashi kara moji ga atte bunsho ga dekimashite. Mo Sumer wa mo skoshi mukashi desu kiri de mo. Egypt mo kanari o mukashi kara ji ga dekimashite. So, Egypt no moji wa ichiban kirei da to omoimasu, utsukushii de shou. I think Egypt's writing is probably the prettiest. There's a nice example. Kori wa mo seti issei no haka kara kigenzen 13 seki goro. 
This is from the tomb of Seti I in 13th century BC. Isn't this very pretty? Kore wa kirei de shou? Kone yo de ji. Sanzen nen, sanzen, sanbyaku nen gurai mai ni, kore wa kikare te, mara iro ga pachiri. Miemas ne? This is 3,300 years old and you can still see the colors very well. Odoroku beki no mono desu ne? Dono yo na. <laughs> How did they make these colors, you know, that they last so long, you know? Of course, it's in a grave, so there's no light hitting it. But uh, these look like they're simple. They, they look almost like those simple uh, picture letters, but the Egyptians actually developed it very advanced, so you could write anything you wanted. With this, you know, you could do all the different things, nouns and verbs and everything. So, kore wa mo miru to tada no e moji gurai to mo ariru kamo shirimasen de mo jitsu wa kore wa kanari hatten sareta kaki kotoba de so tsuki no yoni nan demo kakeru yoni narimashita sono meishi doshi wa zumbu dekiru no de de mo omoshiroi to omoimas. I think this is very interesting also. でもこれはまだもう中東エジプトはまだ近いでしょこの世の中の北のところだったらアジアでしょ例えば中国これは中国の高骨文字ですね Maybe you've seen this before These are Chinese oracle bone script They're written on animal bones 動物の骨に刻めているんですね刻まれたものです And so they wrote these on animal bones and they used them for various things. いろいろことがあって、たぶん、主に売れないかなと思いますけど、I think mostly they use it for fortune telling or something. That's why it's called Oracle Bone Script. But これはどのぐらいの古さがあるかといって、3200年ぐらい前のものですね。So this is about 3200 years old. もちろん、これは漢字の由来の。So this, of course, is the, the origin of kanji, where we start to get things that look like Chinese kanji being developed. So, you made it to show, ka? Can you read it? Demo gendai no kanji ni nitiru tokoro choto arimasu ne. But it looks a little bit like something you might see in modern kanji. You know, it's like it's not that different. それでもう筆記、文字の歴史、発展の歴史はどうなりますか So what does this look like, the development of writing? お昔のものを見たら、If you look at the ancient types of writing, the, the oldest we know of, もう分かっている限り、一番古いなのはこのシュメールの3500年ぐらいのものですね。右の方を見たら、エンドも特別の文字がありますね。独特の文字があります。他のところ全然見えない文字ですね。If you look to the right, in India they also had、uh, writing characters that were completely different than everything else. でもこれはインドの方はもう現代の人はこれを読める人は一人もいないですね。まだまだ、uh, 調べていましても誰もこの字がわからないですね。They're still studying, but in modern times, no one can read this writing from India. It's still a complete mystery. Hidari no ho wa Egypto no koto ga atte, tabun sanzen nen, kigenzen sanzen nen goro kara, sono shoke moji no kaihatsu ga atte, so shite kochi mo iroiro no tokoro toka, kore wa Palestina toka, Syria toka, so shite migi no ho wa Chugoku. がありますね。そこでは全部三千年ぐらい前から五千五百年ぐらいまでですね。その間のことです。Ah, let's see. We have a Middle East, you know, kind of Europe, Africa, Asia. 他に世のことを考えたら、もう文字ができたところありますか？ Where else was the writing developed in ancient times, you know, besides、uh, these long ago? You know, we kind of got Europe and、uh, Africa area, you know, Middle East, you know, Asia. Ma, hoku no tokoro arimasu ka? 
何かアメリカもちろんですねそれでですね<笑> so, これもあマヤグリフスアメリカのマヤ文ですねマヤ人ができた文章紀元前200年頃この例はメソアメリカと言いますね So these Maya glyphs are, are really interesting. これは興味深いですね。これは独特的な独自開発のものです。大体その他の文字はもうその昔のシュメルの地域からその影響が与えられて私たちも文字が必要。全然違う形になっても影響があった可能性が高いですね。There's a good possibility that those other kinds of writing are influenced by the writing of Schumer. Even if it looks completely different, they might have said, oh, they have writing, we need writing too, and they may have developed their own system. But this is completely independent, and it doesn't look anything like the rest of the world. y o n o h o k u no tokoro, zenzen chigao, kaki kate desu ne. Kore mo yome nai to omoimasu. Dari mo yome nai to omoimasu. I don't think anybody can read this either, you know. This is also a mystery, Shimpi Tek no Koto desu ne. But it's、uh, fascinating. Kura miroku teki de sho. This looks like a guy. Kori wa hito no kao kana? Kori wa panda kana? <laughs> looks like some guy. Looks like a panda to me, but I don't know. <laughs> so, Nihon da ta ra, moto mo furui buncho wa Nihon go de kakari te mono da ta ra. 何がありますか What are some of the oldest things written in Japanese? Dare ka manyoshi to iwari mashita ka? Yeah, manyoshi to kojiki to ka. Kojiki, nihon shoki, so shite manyoshi to show. Uh, the Kojiki, the Nihon Shoki, and the Manyoshu are some of the oldest things written in Japanese. So, Kori wa saiki news ni dete iru to omoimasu ne. Rei wa no koto, rei wa doko kara kite ka, sono yurai. So, I think you may have seen this recently in the news because、uh, we're entering the new period of Rei wa, and everybody has to learn how to write Rei wa. <laughs> <laughs> And、uh, it's from this、uh, page of the Manyoshu, Manyoshu Kara Kono Tokoro. Kono Rei to Kono wa Erabarete Rei wa ni narimashita. Now, if you just look at these characters,、uh, you might have one kind of meaning, Aru imi ni naru kamo shirimasen. Ji dake o mitara, demo kono Manyoshu no Ume no Kikisetsu ni kanshite no. But they say they have a different meaning in the context of where it comes from in this poem, which is about the seasons of plums and stuff. So we're told that in English this should be translated as beautiful harmony. So, in Nihon no news today, Iroiro no imiga atairarete iru yo desu, demo utsukushi cho wa. 多分その英語の意味と似ていますね。So we are now in the, the time of r e i w a o m u k a s h i no j i ga o m o s h i r o i to o m o i m a s 全然 o m o s h i k u nai to o m o k a t a m o i r s h a r u k a m o s h i r i m a s e n I think these ancient characters are very interesting, but maybe some people think that is just not interesting at all. I don't care. でも現代はこの世は本でいっぱいになっていますね。Today the world is full of books. そして書き言葉いっぱいありますね。So we have books in every language. どの言葉でもほとんど本が出版されています。本がたくさんあります。そしてもう現代はもうこのように印刷する必要はない。ね、みんなは臨機で。もう携帯でとか、Kindle でとか、本を読んでいます。私も。聖書を出せと言われたら私は携帯を出す。ここに聖書があるから。<laughs> 実はたくさんの聖書がここに載せられていますね。If somebody says, get out your Bible, I just pull out my phone now because I have many Bibles in my phone. 
新共同訳の日本語、新海訳の日本語、英語の NIB、NAS とか、全部はここにあるんです。便利です。In my phone, I, you know, I have the Japanese translations, the colloquial translation, and、uh, a number of different ones, the interconfessional and things, and NIV and NAS and all kinds of things. So now we, we, we've got our phones and things. What is the most important book, most popular book in all of history, though? でも、史上での最も大事な、最も人気を集めている本は何でしょうかその聖書。先に言いましたから、携帯で。いや、The Bible is, is by far、uh, the most widely read book,、uh, most popular book. So, これは、聖書は実は、紀元前1500年頃から、紀元100年の間に書かれた書物の当初みたいね。たくさんの書物はもう集まってこれは神の霊の導きでできた文章と認められて一冊の聖書に出版されました。So the Bible is written from about 1500 BC to about 180. Many different writings that were recognized as being、uh, completed by the leading of God's Holy Spirit. And they brought them together and they published them in one book that we call the Bible. これは世界で人気一、最も、uh, 人気の本ですね。Most popular book worldwide. 60億冊くらいは印刷されました。人気版はどのくらいかわからないですね。And about 6 billion copies have been printed in paper, and who knows how many electronic copies are around. You know, you can't. <laughs> you can't really count the electronic copies very well. And it's the most translated book by far. The, the whole Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, is translated into 670 languages. ロピアク70の言語に訳されていますね。そして旧約、新約聖書だけなら1500の言葉以上に訳されていますね。It was just the New Testament has been translated into more than 1500 languages. So more than any other book. ここの本よりもうずっと多いですね。And it's the most, it's the most loved book in the world. 世界の最も愛された本、確かに。それは何百万の人が聖書を日ごとに読んでいますね。毎日の習慣で朝夜読む人もすごく多いですね。It's the most read book, loved book in the world. You know, millions of people just read the Bible every day. A lot of people read every morning and evening. They read a little bit from the Bible. それはもう人生。生活に大きな祝福が与えられますから。Because it really brings a blessing into your life and your lifestyle to develop habits like this. And, you know, here we have just a few of the different languages, right? このいろいろ言語の聖書、どのくらいわかりますかこれは、先手、テリア、レサクラビビ、レビビアとか。How many of these languages do you recognize? I don't know. Not too very many. So, <laughs> このように聖書は大事ですから、聖書を読んだことがない人は、このようなことわからないことが多いと思います。すみません、失礼ですけど。But I think, you know, when you look at it, the, this book has been so widely read, so popular that when somebody says they, they haven't read the Bible, I wonder how can they really understand the world? これはもう西欧の社会だけじゃなくてもう全世界の社会に多くの影響が与えられていますね。Not just Western societies, but all the societies of the world, the influence of the Bible has been so great that I think、uh, everybody, basic education really needs to get familiar with the Bible, really. もう根本的な教育のことでみんなは聖書をちょっと分かった。聖書を分かった方がいいと思います。彼は聖書からの例の
sacred disk in your moment. I have a few examples of uh, verses from the Bible. So, Seishi wa ai sarete iru koto to itte imasu kere wa kyu yaku seishi no shihen yaku jukyu hien ni sono mo seishi no ichiban nagai shi no tokoro desu ne. Seishi wa hometate iru koto ba desu ne. Uh, psalm 119 in the Old Testament is, is the longest psalm in our Bibles and uh, it's basically in praise of the Bible. Demo kore ga kore o kaite hito saka wa mo sono toji wa watashi ga tsui mote iru seishu no sanbun no ichi gurai dake mote imashite ne. Oku no mono wa sono ato ni shomotsu wa ato de kakarete koto ga arimasu. But the person who wrote this probably only had about a third of the Bible we have today uh, because so much of it was written after their time. Demo Tonikaku, Hyaku Ju Kyuhen no Kyuju Kyusets, Watashi wa Ariyuru Shini Masate Hizameta Mono des, Anato no Sadame ni Kokuro Kudaite Iru Kare des. So, Kami Sam ni Anato no Sadame ni Kokuro Kudaite Iru Seisho o Yomu Koto de. Hyaku San Sets wa Anato no Ose o Ajiwai ba Watashi no Kuchi ni Mitsu yori mo Amai koto de shou. すごい発言ですね。この人はもう聖書を食べたがるですね。約<笑>五節の後の御言葉は私の道の光、私の歩みを照らすともしとあります。英語で読めば、In English, it's in the Psalm 119, I have more insight than all my teachers for meditate on your statutes. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. So, この人は聖書をすごく深く愛しています。大好きですね。This person really likes their Bible. They love their their Bible and reading God's word. So, here's uh, something else I want to share. 他に分かち合いたいものですけれども、これは新約聖書ですね。Uh, シエスがお語りになったところですけれども、ルカ24章からですね。So、this is from the, the New Testament. It's actually something Jesus is saying. And let's look at it. It's,、uh, there's a gap in the middle. 同じ流れの中ですでも、前のところと後のところ、真ん中はちょっとなくした、長くなりますから。私について、モーゼの立法と預言者の書と詩幣に書いてある事柄は必ず全て実現する。これこそまだあなた方と一緒にいた頃言っておいたことである。それからシエスはその旧約聖書のことを全部を指して私に関しての予言の言葉は全部は実現する。これは前のことを話しているシエスのことですね。その後は将来のことを話すシエスですね。次のように書いてあるメシアは苦しみを受け、三日目に死者の中から復活する。それはシエスご自身のことですね。また罪の許しを得させる悔い改めがその名によってあるゆる国の人々に述べ伝えられるとルスムから始めて。ルスムから始めて。世界に広がっていきます。このアバイドまでも。イエスの救いのメッセージですね。さあ、in the New Testament, Jesus says in Luke 24, he says, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. So there, Jesus is looking back at that Old Testament, saying, Everything in that Old Testament about me, all those prophecies, has to be fulfilled. And then he looks forward to the future and says, This is what is written. The Christ, that's Jesus himself, will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem and continuing on to the rest of the world, even right here to abide at Nagai. Shiesaga Kurisata Skui no message to Sne. そこではイエスからのお誘いの言葉ですね。疲れてもの重荷を負うものは誰でも私のもとに来なさい。休ませてあげよう
So here's an invitation from Jesus. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. What kind of invitation is this? これは神様から離れていますけれども、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、神様、